Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Emmy. For today's Kid Craft, I have this project for you. Dinny! And this is a marble run. And this is the way it works. You just drop a marble down here, and it goes down. This project is really simple. All you need is a cereal box and a bunch of marbles and an extra little piece of cardboard here. So I found this idea from a blog called Made by Joel. I'll put the link down below. It's been a rainy, gray day, so we've been inside making stuff. So we made this this morning. He's taking a nap right now. And yeah, let's go in the kitchen and I'll show you what we did. With a pair of kitchen shears, you're going to cut the front of your cereal box and make sure you leave about a half inch lip at the very bottom to catch your marbles. Next, at the top of the box, you're going to cut about a one inch square so you can drop your marbles through. Then use some tape and reconstruct the top of the box. So take the front piece of the cereal box and cut it into three equal strips. Then place the three strips inside the box and fiddle around with them until you can form three ramps. Once your ramps are bent into shape, then you're going to cut three small holes, one in each strip, so the marble can come through. Then just tape the ramps into place. Finally, you're going to take another piece of cardboard and fold over an edge and tape that down. Then you're going to place a cereal box on top and tape into place, and this will elevate a little bit so the marbles don't fall out. And then you're ready to add your marbles. This piece here is really important. You really do need to stand this up on an angle. I actually use some pieces of cardboard to stuff in here to make this tilt back a little bit. Otherwise, the marbles like to kind of pop out and jump out when you put them down the slot. So my boy will be three in a couple months. This was enough for him, but I can envision this being a really fun project for older kids in terms of expanding it and adding more boxes, adding more ramps, cardboard tubes. You can make your own kind of Rube Goldberg machine. So yeah, lots of room for exploration here. All right, have a great weekend, everyone. Now go make something. I'll see you next week. Bye. So there are seven different flavors and they're very conveniently color-coded, so I'm going to eat them in the order of the rainbow, beginning with red. And these are called Tagalongs.